Hey, what is up, everyone? We're gonna be doing a interesting unit that I think is. I don't. I don't think he's underrated. I think. I don't think he's hated on either. I just think that people get so like oversensitive on his transformation skill that they forget that this unit is it's still amazing as base form. So we're gonna be running the Kamehameha team. It's a one of the one of the most popular teams on Dokkan. I get it. It's a cool team, but like I'm not crazy about it. So he's a leader, he's a common head leader and a AGL leader, so I threw my favorite unit on Bardock because why not, right? Sax events, he won't hurt. We have Salon's team, so we can also get the condition to transform this Gohan. We also have Super Saiyan, or Goku, because when he transforms Super Saiyan, he does give him that extra All right, benefit to his passive when you do transform him. We're bringing a Rainbow Buddy, I actually don't know what his links are. Uh, my Gohan's got holding a couple times, but no dupes. Unfortunately, most of the time when I summon on banners, this guy is not on it, sell is, so that's the unfortunate truth about it. Oh, nice. So we have a rainbow one to show off, too. Perfect. Exciting. Uh, this will be fun. We'll see a rainbow 55%, or rainbow 10 links, and then we'll have a 55% 10 links, so you can see the uh, difference. Uh, how do I want to do this? I guess this is fine. He'll give himself key. It's all good. We also have this cell. Mine's 90%. <laughs> level 10. So you can see what a near perfect cell looks like. I mean, that last 10% doesn't matter. I also have his links. Oh, yeah, I have him built a little weird. Oh, so this Gohan is going to sack defense with these super he gets. So he'll get stronger and stronger and stronger as he matches, or as the match goes on and on and on. 3 mil attacks now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Nice. I, li I like this guy. I, I like SDR LR Verdini. Even his base form, I feel like he's consistent enough to where he's formidable. I know when he gets transformed, he's a lot, lot, lot better, but like he's still formidable. All right, so we're gonna keep this work this perfect. We'll keep mine with the Goku, as you see. Pull up ten links. Pull up ten links. Up ten yeah, I have a problem. All right, so we're gonna give this Gohan this. We're gonna Goku. I, I want to take damage so Goku can transform, just because Goku is really hard to keep your team. Like if Goku doesn't transform, he can hurt your team. But if he if he transforms, he's fine. 1.855%. Uh, I don't think mine will crit though, because I don't have any crit into him. But like, yes, there is going to be a big difference when this guy's uh, rainbow compared to 55%. He will do more damage, but defensively they're probably gonna be similar. So I guess it matters. All right. I hope he hurts Goku quite a bit, so I can transform him next turn. <clears throat> this team is fun. I like to come in that team. I know it's going to get better when we get the Trunks and Goten, along with the Krillin. It's uh, always been one of those teams that's lacked support, so I'm glad we're in one, eventually. We're going to do this. Let's see what his defense is. We have had one turn, he's already got 200k defense. That's kind of nuts, actually. Can we get a super? No. I mean... We can actually. Oh, so close. I wanted to get him an ultra super, but like, it's kind of hard. Whatever trip Bardock transforms in here will be possible, but it's not that big of a deal. He does the same thing. He just sacks defense and his ultra super. <laughs> it is a nice animation though, and it does do a bit more damage. <laughs> Let's see what you can do to my Bardock. Bardock's on a lower team skill, so he might get hit kind of hard here. Which is fine, because he does stack defense, so he'll eventually be fine. But he'll, he starts off a little lower than he should because of that smaller boost into his category. Which is the AGL boost, which I think it's only 100% or 120 or something like that. It's, it's a lot lower. Nice. Uh, when Vegeta or Gogeta comes back, he'll transform, so he'll be... Oh, this is perfect, actually. This means Goku transform. I, I'm okay with this. I also think we can transform one of the Gohans, right? Oh, it has to be X amount of turns. Uh, yeah, we have a we have a little while to go. We have more turns to get done. Nice. I kind of want to. Okay, I don't think mine will. Wow, that's annoying. I don't think mine will kill him. So I do want to try to super with Goku because he does stack 
Like, the thing about this Super Saiyan Goku is when you transform him, he raises his defense, which is nice because it's infinite raise. So that's really kind of important for his kid. I kind of wish he did it based off his base form, because then he'd be a lot better. But he's not bad. Two mil attacks that, 55%, 100% length, or 100 uh, level 10 links. Really good. <clears throat> I want to do showcase on this Goku in the future, because I do like this Goku quite a lot. I know that he is weak in some scenarios, but once you get through his weaknesses, this gets amazing. Oh, yes. It's always a party when uh, Vegito is here. Okay, this is, a, this is a little bit scary of a rotation. We're gonna keep these guys in together because they should be fine. Oh, we get to see the Ultra Super on the uh, front here. What's his defense? Yeah, he's fine. Bardock should be fine too. I'm a little worried about him in the back. I need to make sure I do this. Uh, I think we're fine here because he does give himself a key, I believe. I think we're okay. Even at height disadvantage. 3.5 mil. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He does perform much better when he's rainbowed. He's one of the units that does need... Oh, I mean, he didn't hit that hard, but he is at a type this damage. But yes, his attack stat will go up quite a bit when uh, he's rainbowed. I don't think he needs rainbowed, but one or two dupes, and then he's going to be performing similar. Ow. 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 The heck? Oh, no. Oh, wait. This, uh, never mind. I was like, am I dead here? Uh, he still has a chance to dodge, since he's still super at the time. Yeah, we're good. Thought three. Fog. Damn, those animations are still awesome. Uh, what's going on here? Am I playing a little movement? Hey, there it is. Oh, and also this. Oh, uh, we're locked in spot here, so what we're gonna do... Okay, we're gonna do two things here, because this is awesome. We're gonna turn up the volume a little bit. We're gonna do Goku's... Uh, we'll do Gohan's first. Alright, so he's getting his full passive since there is Super Saiyan Goku next to him. So this man's going to actually lose his defense but gain up a power. When he ults, he'll be fine. Now we're ready to do this because I haven't seen this in a hot minute. I'm very angry! Nice. So this is going to be a Kamehameha showcase after all, I guess. We're not going to just do this Gohan showcase. We're going to do... This will be the Kamehameha, Goku, and Gohan showcase. Because, I mean, it just happened to turn out that way. Nice. This Goku is very impressive to me. Because of what he does. His utility is insane. Now, whenever he's in base form, and he's super, he does power up the rest of the rotation, but he does lack that defense. When he's transformed, you stack attack, or I mean you stack defense, and you do dumb numbers like this. And then when you get below a certain amount of HP, you can just transform and do this. You're immortal, and you just, you know, you do some extra damage. Yes, the numbers are not super impressive, but man, are these animations fun to watch. But that was actually kind of impressive. And then I think you just go straight back to your normal rotation. See, we just avoided a super attack by doing that. It's not always ideal, but like, <laughs> it's very impressive. So, I am a big fan of it. Did we free up our... And now we're free to move our rotation around. Look how awesome that is. We'll get it all through Super Rook. This guy, he's going to be a little squishy at first, so I'm a little worried. But I'm not that worried. I think because he attacked three times, he stacked his defense up quite a bit. Maybe. I don't know if that works like that. I think it might, though. I'm a little worried. I don't want to use an item because then I feel like I show that this team has weaknesses. Oh, God. But like four mil, four, okay. So he almost has a five million attack stat because of Goku is on rotation with him. Yes, I understand that this transformation is hard to get, but it is possible. You just gotta put in weaknesses into your team the correct way. And I think the correct way to do that is by running this guy because when this guy transforms, the other Gohan is probably ready to transform too. So they kind of function really well together because of that reason. Yeah, I understand it's not a deal to purposely weaken your team, but in doing so. 
you can transform your unit and you should be fine anyway. Like I think and like there's no world that we're actually in danger now. Like yes, and then we have cell, like we have cell on the team, so Oh yes, and I actually have a whistling. But yeah, as you see, like now we're full health. Like I know this is a little kind of it's it's a little risky to run your team like this. I understand that, but doesn't it make it more fun to have a little bit of risk in your team? Uh, we can't transform my Gohan, which is fine. Now you can see like the difference between the two. Like mine's gonna continue stacking the defense, and this one will be the powerhouse. Like we have two rotations: the defensive rotation and offensive rotation. So I think it's okay to be like that. I I don't mind it as much. And we also have this Juggernaut now. Like yes, I don't have a team builder on him, but I mean he's still gonna just get numbers out. Without big bad bosses though, it's a little unfortunate because he does perform quite well. Oh my god, please. Get your defense other guy. I need you to get some defense. Promise you, Bardock's only uh getting hit so hard because of the uh, the way the team's working for him. He's not getting the full leader skill coming hot because he has no coming hot, he's just there for the AGO buff. I, I purposely poked holes in this team to make it take damage. So I but that way I can perform the transformations. You don't have to run Bardock and team, you can just put some other standard Kamehameha team. That was fresh. On the uh, Kamehameha unit on the team, and it'll be fine. I, I purposely put kills on my team, so it's more... It functions more like a team with transformations and a team with this boring. Uh, he'll be fine after he supers. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm putting him there because he's not a solid one unit anymore. I, I know you can put the... I'm pretty sure you can put both Golans together and it'll link perfectly, but you, need, you want Goku in the rotation. Or is it just Goku's team? I, I don't remember if his team or rotation, we'll find out right now. It's been so long since I uh, used this guy. So he gets attack plus 20% and defense plus 7% per key for your team, plus an additional key plus 1 and per key obtain. Randomly changes key spheres of certain types to Rainbow Series or Changer, that's nice. When facing an only one enemy, <clears throat> launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies, okay. Plus an additional attack, plus 59% when performing an Ultra Super attack, and you, your team has a Super Saiyan Goku. But it's gonna say Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn. See, that's that's why it's so important for you to have this guy in the team because he's a Super Saiyan Goku. These two are like bread and butter. They they go together really well, and then you want Cell in the team so you can transform the Gohan. It's it's a little weird if you think about it because Cell has no place in the team. But you can just take off this Bardock and put another Cell on the team, and then you have one rotation of Goku and Gohan, and another a rotation of Cell. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. Like, it's okay. You, you, it's okay. Like, I understand that people don't like his transformation condition, but it's only because it's a little weird. Once you get the proper build around it, it's not bad. 7 mil. 7 mil attack stat. This guy is ludicrous. Holy crap. And he does the additional... Look at this guy go! Woo! Gohan! I, I still prefer the tech one over him, but like this is this is remember, this is the 55% one I'm pretty sure. The friend unit's not transformed, if I remember right. He did 7 mil as a non Rainbow. Just keep that in mind. 55% 7 mil damage. If that's not insane, then I don't know what it was like. Holy moly. Um, I don't wanna do that. Let's see, Bardock's starting to get to the safe zone, so it's okay. We'll stack his defense up. We'll do a couple- I don't- I, you know what? We might just do this whole thing, like... If this is a longer video, so video- but I just wanted to get this point across that this Gohan Time to get serious. is very good. I know that his transformation condition isn't, like, the greatest, or it's not ideal, but that doesn't take away of how great of a unit he can be. Like, you don't need to transform him to be good. You can just have him defend something that's fine. When you transform him, he's no longer a slot 1 unit, he's a slot 2. When you keep him base form and you build up defense, he's slot 1. That's why I think Goku's so good with him. The Super Saiyan Goku is a slot 1 unit when you transform him. Because he, he guards and he builds his defense up. So it's the perfect rotation for this Gohan. It's just, the weird thing about this team is obviously the Cell. If the Cell is the one that doesn't... Ooh, we're gonna do this because I haven't seen it forever. And I think it'll be fun. So, let's give that a go. This is no game. Prepare yourself. You here shall be destroyed!
God, this game is so fun. Like, I understand why people love this game. I, I do. I understand. It's because of all these awesome transforming units and, like, what they can be. It, I get it. Trust me. I get it. Also, super here because he does get that. Yeah, this, this team's ludicrous. Like, don't get me wrong, it's weak at the start because you have to do all these, like, certain conditions like transform Goku, transform Cell, transform Gohan. I get it. It's, it's a little annoying, but it, it makes it to where the game isn't as... Or it makes it where this team isn't as boring that way. Because when you have a brain dead team and you just like click things and you're not thinking about your rotations, it can get a bit or a little under exciting. But wow, 6.3. But when you have a team with this type of conditions, it makes you like pre plan ahead. Like, do, like for example, like let's say you're in a rotation one slot and you see multiple like super attacks coming, it's like I could put STR Goku there and take a bunch of damage. I could die, but I could do it and then transform my Gohan next turn and potentially even get self transformation the turn after. But you have to think of how, how these things can work. Uh, you're, you're good. That's pathetic. Me! Me! I'm going to defeat you! Bros, we're getting all the animations today. I love it. I love it. Uh, these Gohan, this Gohan and this guy will link decently together. Like, especially if another Saiyan on the third slot, it'll be fine. I still can't get that dang ultra super friend this guy on. It's okay. We're chilling. Like this seems good. Yes, there's flaws. Yes, there's some weak links on the game, but. But like, look at like we have enough tanks in this game where it doesn't matter. I have plenty of tanks in this game. Are they conditional tanks and not like turn one tanks? Yes, but they're tanks on the last, like now. Bardock was off was off the second leader skill, like the substat leader skill, and look at him. He, he's fine now. Like it took a pre tierance, yes, but like he's fine now. Like he's no longer a detriment of the team. He was never a detriment. He just needed a couple turns to build up. It, I love this team, but it's not in my top five for a reason. It's probably in my top 10 though, for sure. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh, let's check Goku's defense for fast forward though. He's almost 200k, like, look at this. He's, he's good. Gohan's automatically going to be insane. Uh, it doesn't matter what we do here. I'm a little worried about this last. If he gets hit by a super, it's gonna hurt, but like, it's okay. I think you guys get the point that this game is very functional and it can work. It's a little weird. You can adjust it to fit more of a safe style. 7.4, but like... Man, when when the pass cross and this guy transforms and he gets next to that Goku, like, his his numbers are insane. Like, I want to take more damage so I can transform the other one so we can see what the other one can do. Because it's probably going to be close to 10 11 mil, but like, we're not taking damage anymore at this point. Like, I'm sure this, go this, this Gogeta can take some damage here if he doesn't dodge. Oh, please dodge. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, we're good. We still can't transform. Damn, we're not taking any damage. It's unfortunate, because I really want to transform this Gohan. I, I want to see what this Gohan can do. I do. No, I want that, so... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. We're rolling down slowly. It's okay. I'm trying my best. We got a skill, but it's just not working. Even the weak links of this team have uh, good strengths. Like, because they dodge. Like, the, I guess the weak defensive units on this team would be the blue fusions, but like they dodge in that last slot, so they're not really that bad to run. They're actually really good, so... And you can protect them by just putting them in other slots if you see a lot of attacks coming, it's completely fine. And there goes Cell doing things with that finger of his. Alright. This is going to be a good rotation, actually. Yeah, Goku's, at this point, Goku's fine. Um, Gohan's a beast. And you're good. Like. I love it. I love this game. It's working so well. I like. I, I don't mind a team that starts off slow and weak and builds into something like this. I don't mind it. it. It makes it a little bit more of a challenge to 
beat these events, which is the whole point of this game. I have a little challenge. This could hurt. No, he's guarding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goku's a beast. 7 mil. He's consistently putting up 7 mil damage. That's impressive. I mean, to be fair, his transformation condition is a little ludicrous, but like, man, is it worth it. Is it worth it. I mean, he's not, he's not super tanky in this form, but he's not squishy. Oh, Vegeta's about to have so much fun with his Samasu. Oh man, it's like watching the actual anime. Do it again. This man is just... <laughs> Woo! Go to pound down, brother. Show some... And he dodges. Um... I mean, it could be fun. Why not? Oh, it's always a good time to watch that animation. Yeah, he didn't do as much damage as he could have because, like, I didn't put him in second slot or whatever. It was it's just there because it was, you know, it's fun. What's his, what's his best defense at? 400k? Yeah, 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 He's a beast. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. He's immortal. This is why I like this unit so much. Like, you don't need to transform him for him to do. Like, he, he's helping the team out by being a slot one unit now at this point. Like, you don't have to transform this guy. And he's still doing 5 mil attack stats. Yes, he's rainbowed. I know, I know, I know, I know. But still, like, I'm just saying... Stop hating him this base form going Or his base Super Saiyan Gohan. There's no point to hate on him. He, he's, he's, he's fine. I know you guys want to see his transformation and see big numbers, but... It's not always about the big numbers. Sometimes it's just about the surviving of the harder content. It's sometimes you just got to survive to be an objective. There's been times where I transformed that Gohan and I died because of it because he's just not as tanky. So it is. Oh my God, Bardock! Yes, put Tsumasu in his place, brother. Yatta! Tastes like victory to me. Alright, I think next turn we'll be able to... Ooh, this will be a fun turn. I'm a little stressed here because this Gohan might actually... Like, his defense is not not looking so good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Gohan, Goku, I just want you to get... Dang it, Goku. Dang it, Goku! Why you do this? Why do you have to be so good? Alright, uh... Damn. It's, it's fine. Uh, we don't do see cell super attack. He's not there for damage. He's there to be Gohan's uh, gatekeeper to his. Uh, he's the gatekeeper of Gohan's transformation. That's why he's there. He's the. Oh, that hurt. 2.4 mil. I'm impressed. I hope he additionals and it actually puts in some work. No additional? It's okay. Not everyone's perfect. 7 mil, once again, consistent. I mean, he's gonna be a little squishier in this rotation. He could potentially get us killed because he's not tanky. Or, or not, or it's not super tanky. But he should be fine. Like, let's see. Ooh. See what I mean? Like, his transportation... Oh. It, it's, it, he becomes a little bit of, like... I'm not gonna call him a glass cannon, because it's not true. But he's not, like, extremely OP. Now, this rotation is juicy. I'm a little worried about this, kinda. But this is defense. That's a little scary. I don't know if I messed up there. We'll see. This Gohan's gonna take no damage. He's he's only like lacking 3k. Or 300 mil. I mean, 3 mil. I mean, he's lacking like 3 mil damage, yes. It's okay though, like. He's taking no damage. Bardock's just next to him, doing uh, the work for him. He's, he's making it up. Well, he won't be super effective in this rotation, but... The point I'm trying to bring across is that this team has an offense and a defense. And if you balance them both, the team can look extremely, extremely impressive. I don't think it's gonna hurt that much. Oh. <laughs> I mean... How? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, uh, ow, I was stabbed in the chest, okay, give me a break. Oh, thank god, we're not dead. First item. 
considering we are facing a history event Vegito Blue, I'm not surprised that he did that much damage. I'm really not. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Good. It's a beautiful day to be a Gohan. If you guys haven't yet and you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and like button uh, and the like button. Comment down below if you like this unit or if you think they really did make this guy uh, kids kind of bad. I think he's okay. Like I, I'm. I'm not gonna hate on him. I, I do get the transformation finish with the hit. I wouldn't say all the time, but like, it's not like the hardest thing to do in harder events. It's just, you gotta play a little careful. And I do think he's really, really good and really, really impressive when he is this, like, monster. But, it's not necessary, so. There's enough power on this team where you can make it work without him transforming. In fact, it's probably better to don't transform, because then you have more defensive options. But as a finisher, yeah, I get it. I, I do get it. It's his 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 kill animation is cool. It's like he falls out on the ground, he's all base form and beat up. Like I, I like it. I'm sketching over here. Like this no, I mean Bardock should be fine. I say that and he's less killed, but like Oh man. You only have three links incoming. Even so on the team, like, I, I, he's not like, throw with, like, yeah, I'm not getting his ultra super, but I'm not exactly trying to either. He's there as a third, um, slaughter, just to, he was literally on the team just so I can transform this Gohan. But he's not hurting the team at all. He's holding his own. He's not hurting the team at all. If anything, this Bardock might be, like, the way his length is because he's down to 120 already. But he's not, like, once again, he's not bad. Uh, even on 120, he's, he's doing good. <coughs> he's actually... <laughs> he's, he's super good. Nice. Hey, if we have Gogeta or, or Vegito in the next rotation, I think we can actually... Yes. Oh, yes. We'll put him in the center here. Alright, we'll do this in the wrap of the video. Take a good long look. This is the true power of Vegito! Final! Kamehameha! Damn man, those animations are so there's there's so many animations on this team. I know. I it's a it's ridiculously um like it's 300 KD oh my god. My man's a god. Uh but yeah, it's ridiculous how many animations are on this team. I I know. But it's so fun. Like the animations in this game make it so much more cool. Well I guess this is the first time we don't get his ultra super, so he's not gonna get his super duper duper damage. It's okay though, I think we're fine. Go ahead and see what he looks like, because he only gets the 50% extra damage, or 59% or whatever extra damage from Goku when he does his ultra super. So this is gonna be a more grounded look at him. Nice. <laughs> I love this Goku so much. Mine's not Rainbow yet, I think he's like one deep away from Rainbow. Well, or maybe two. He might be two away from Rainbow. I don't remember if I got three or two copies in the moment. Nice damage. See, 2.7 mil. Like, um. Whenever he does an ultra super, it's not as like crazy, but the animation is still great. He's a backhand Vegeta back though. Yeah, there you go, but. Ow. Ow. Like, look at that defense. Ow. <laughs> Ow! Boom. Nice. I love this card. He's, he's fully built up by now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's built up all the way. He hasn't been on this show. Oh my god. Vegeta! Vegeta! Calm yourself, brother. There's still another rotation I gotta do. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna finish up here. And I wanna finish up with a big fat banger wanger. Uh, this is kind of awkward. I wanna do something cool, but... It's okay. Unfortunately, things go down and they don't always pan out. We'll finish it up, Gohan. All good. It is all kid okay. I think this is the last thing anyway, so... All things considered, I had to use one item. I don't really think that's that bad, considering how like hard these guys actually do hit. Like, it doesn't look like they hit hard, but they do hit quite hard. They really do. So... I mean... 
I don't really have much more to say about this team besides it's a fun team. There's a lot of activation skills, there's a lot of transformations, there's a lot. There's just a lot that this team has in utility that makes them really solid, even without that support. Like, yes, I would rather have a support than Bardock on the team. Is this still not over? Oh my lord, I want to die. Alright, boys. Uh, I'm wrapping this game. I'm, I'm wrapping it up. We're done. We, we've seen all we need to see. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time, and please, remember, don't sleep on this guy, alright? He's good. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.